Booker, I was a college decathlete. I saw that you were a sprinter and a long jumper. Uh, could you elaborate on your experiences as a track athlete? Well, number one, I was a, a sprinter throughout my whole life from junior high school on, you know, back in those days. And, and as well now is that we had organized sports. A lot of folks used to say, well, did they have organized sports when you was growing up? Well, sure we did. Um, and even in junior high school, we had track team. Um, I was one of the fastest, so obviously they made me run the 50-yard dash, uh, the 100-yard dash, and the 220-yard dash. Um, so it, it prepared me not only for football, but it prepared me for life afterwards and in, in, in training and doing uh, the, all the strenuous situations that you have to do to, to play sports. Um, so eventually, uh, I was a long jumper. Uh, I long jumped uh, over 22 feet in high school. I did over 20, 24 feet in college. Um, my fastest time in a 100-yard dash was 9-7. Um, I had a friend of mine, a teammate of mine. Um, he was a 9-3 dasher. And um, one meet that was... Uh, he won it, obviously, because at 9-3 and 9-4, yes. he's always going to win. And, um, but they showed three legs in the picture, and one of those legs was mine. So if he ran a 9-4, then I, I should have ran at least a 9-5 or 9-6. But in those days, they did not take uh, time for second That's place and third time. place. Yeah. Absolutely. So to me... Um, uh, Running track was a natural thing for me to do, and, and it, it led right into football, it led right into baseball. I, I, you know, in fact, I thought I was a better baseball player than a football player. What was your most memorable moment as a player? Obviously, the two championships um, was, was very great. However, the great moment was that I started in my rookie year. I was a starter uh, from the first game through my last game here in Buffalo. That's very impressive. And, and, and it's so, so, but the championships just added a few things to it. Uh, the playoffs, uh, the opportunity to get a, get a chance to play in the Super Bowl, one of the first Super Bowls. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't our day, and Kansas City took advantage of what we had, and they was a better team that day. Uh, how did it feel to intercept Joe Namath? Well, it felt great to intercept any quarterback. Um, my first game as a rookie, uh, we played the Houston Oilers, and I intercepted George Blanda twice. Uh, so obviously, being a rookie <laughs> and, and the first game, uh, and you make that interception, so that was a, a lot greater than uh, years later when I intercepted Joe Namath because he came along at, at a different time. But... So you're no intercepting way. a legend and then intercepting a rookie. I can, I can see where you're coming yeah, from there. Yeah, I ended up, uh, and another legend, because he's a legend too. Yes. So the, the good thing is, is that uh, Joe, you know, we had a little friendship there. Uh, so, you know, when we go to New York, uh, we would go out and have a few pops and talk a few things. And when they come to Buffalo, we would go out. I remember one particular game, and it was a game that we intercepted him five times. It was the only game that we won that year. Um, and we was at the one of the local hotels uh, in, in the bar area, and he told me, he said, Booker, you better go home because I'm going to be throwing your way tomorrow. And I told him, I said, throw all you can because every other one you throw, I'm going to pick off. So it was, it was just a funny thing that we talked about and everything. <laughs> but it wasn't about him, it was about Don Maynard, who was, I had to re, you know cover on that day. And Don Maynard, as you know, is a Hall of Famer as well. Yes. Uh, another legend himself. Uh, yes. How proud are you of the back-to-back -back AFL championships? Oh, I think it's great. Uh, it's it's uh, something that doesn't happen too often, and um, and especially in professional football. I mean, you might end up back-to-back -back, um, conference champs and stuff like that, but back-to-back -back championships. You know, a lot of folks say, um, yeah, but it was American Football League. It doesn't make any difference. You know, it was only the National Football League. To me, you know, Cleveland Browns or Green Bay Packers, champs is champs. Whatever league you're in, you're, you're a champ. Uh, I you know, always thought that uh, the American Football League, uh, if they had not 
merged with the National Football League, I think the National Football League would have went under, not the American Football League, because people really love the style of football. And if you look at it right now, we play American Football League, you know, style, style of football. Down the field, yeah. Yeah, passing and, and backs coming out of the backfield and then the slots and stuff like that. Uh, so we're the innovators, and uh, I, I think we kept the fans in the stand and uh, because they liked, they liked that fast game. We was the MTV in the 60s. <laughs> Describe your feelings of being inducted onto the Wall of Fame. This is the next step to the Hall of Fame. I do not see myself going to the Hall of Fame other than the fact that I am already in the Hall of Fame in Canton. And, and a lot of people ask me, when did you get you know, inducted into the Hall of Fame in Canton? And I said, I did not get inducted into the Hall of Fame in Canton. I said, I am in the Hall of Fame. And they get puzzled. And I said, you know, I said, Lance Allworth was inducted into the Hall of Fame. And I said, and there's a picture in the Hall of Fame with me over his shoulders trying to knock down a pass, which I did not knock down. And it was like a record catch that he made. And I said, so that's what puts me into the Hall of Fame. So being on the Hall of Fame is, is something that is outstanding. Uh, you know, I can sit and try to describe it, and each time I do it, it's going to be different uh, because it's it's a, it's a great moment. It's an it's a it's something that I mean, I am the 26th individual that's going on that wall. Think of how many guys have played football here in Buffalo, and they're not up there. Um, it's 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 a great honor. That's all I can say. It's a great honor. So I'm sure you'll be enjoying being in front of uh, 73,000 fans on Sunday. I'm going to love it. Uh, in fact, we got a cocktail party at Saturday night. There's a lot of folks that's going to be there. Um, you know, people say, what kind of speech are you going to make? I say, it's going to be whatever it is, it's going to be short. You know, uh, especially on the field, it's going to be short because it's halftime and uh, you really don't have that much time to talk about anything. But I've been going to different functions for the past two weeks, so I'm more or less talked out right now. <laughs>